Hello and welcome to Botanic Shed, a place created to help you build vitality and resilience through enhancing your connection to nature. I'm Lara Cowan. Whatever you're going through, I want to support you by giving you access to nature as salvation. Being an outdoors girl, nature has been my healer and veritable antidepressant for decades. And I want to share this experience of growth and compassion with you. Let's make biophilia, which means love of life, love of biology. Let's make biophilia the leading language of the world. Now we're going to re-establish the rhythms, the beneficial foods, the functional eating, more pleasure in life, following your heart, all of these basic things that have been known forever. Health is a state is in a way the natural state also illness is a natural state but it's just the body saying hey you've pushed the boundary too much here mm. keep your, your uh, tomatoes out of the fridge keep tomatoes out of the fridge because that lycopene is one of those very important compounds that that uh, actually if you if you refrigerate them it's not active and this is a very anti-tumor compound and it's part of the red in the in the tomato there's lots of reasons why people are low on energy in terms of magnesium if we cover that one first it's probably easier you know being human means what being human means to be in, to you know to make mistakes to have feelings to be emotional about things to to feel sad or to feel angry about something uh, but also it means also to be kind and compassionate and to forgive and to to share all of those things. That's what makes human being. About nurturing our yin in our life. And, and, and I think wisdom for us about direction in life, etc., will come from being in touch with our yin. Be that going for a gentle walk in the morning, in the trees, in the woodland. I say the morning because that's the time of wood which is the rabbit. Um, wisdom will come from that and direction. And the colours are in harmony. If you have colours that are in harmony with the energy of that area, then that brings you more harmony in your life. It's not aggravating energy. The other thing in the northeast, just specifically for this year, and I, and I know you don't really want to be changing plant colours around year on year, but you may well be in you know, it some annuals that you use but red because the northeast is a good place to put fire specifically this year for wealth luck to activate it or in fact even better bistro lights and lights outside in the northeast area of your garden is a good thing to do this year for wealth luck sustainable pots one thing about lettuce and mizuna and mazaka is that they don't really like being potted they don't really like moving so it's a good idea not to move them, which is where this comes in. So this is a really great movement for checking in as a, are you a people pleaser or not. So sometimes when we're standing out, we can find that we're really leaning over and giving away our chi, our energy. But actually what happens if you stay really rooted in the vertical and then you open up to connect to life in that place. So you're standing in that place of open-hearted ground place. 